My favorite way to apply textures to illustrations in Photoshop has got to be using texture brushes. You could always slap a big texture on there and then go ahead and use clipping masks, but you don't have as much control and it's definitely not as much fun. So let me just show you a few different ways that I use texture brushes in my own illustrations because I use them quite a bit and I love them. So what I do is I typically will create my base layers, my forms, and um, I'll try to separate as much as I can so I have more control. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a brush up here. Now these are actually some brushes that uh, Ratchet Supply and I have been making and working on that are nature inspired, which are gonna be super, super cool. And uh, hint, hint, we may be releasing these very soon. So keep an eye out for those. But I'll be taking, let's just take this one. It's a really cool leaf. Now if I was just to hit my, um, my brush, what's cool is I can, you know, you can drag it like that and it multiplies it. It's, cooler with other brushes. So this one's more of a stamp, which is awesome. Uh, but I wanted to fill in just the area, just this half of the shell. So what I'll have to do is I'll click, I can click new layer and then hit alt option and then just hover in between here and click and it'll stack that layer. Now this is a clipping mask. All I have to do is click in there and boom, it's non-destructive. My original layer is still there. I can change the color of the original layer by just hitting my layer lock, which locks all the transparent pixels. In this case, there's none. So it'll just fill this portion. So I can, you know, I could change that to green if I wanted to. And uh, that would be pretty cool. But, and I can do the same thing on this one as well. If I wanted to change that, I want to change that to yellow. And uh, by hitting, oh, sorry, the, what I'm hitting there is all, all option delete. Uh, that's on a Mac. Your option delete will always fill with whatever color you have selected. So just a quick little tip. I mean, it's just, uh, I'll show you one more time with another brush here. Um, let's see if I have a, yeah, that's kind of cool. That's like a, a log, which is really cool. A cross section of a log. Um, maybe, oh, here, I, I really like this brush. I'm gonna reduce the size just a little bit. And I'm gonna go over here to this layer. Same thing, it already has one in there. So if it already has one stacked on there, just click on the main layer and then click uh, add a layer and it will just stack another one there for you. So I'm gonna hit this blue, I'm gonna hit multiply. I'm gonna go boom. Super easy, I hope you, that's something that helps. I mean, when I figured this out, it was mind blowing and, uh, and saved me so much time and it was just so much easier to work with. Uh, my texture brushes have made it that much more enjoyable. So. I hope you enjoyed this little tip and uh, keep an eye out and stay tuned for um, some nature inspired texture brushes to come. Thanks.